In this recording, we look at addition and subtraction of positive and negative numbers. First, let's consider what happens when we add a positive number to another number. And starting at the first number, that addition will then take us the required distance from the first number in the positive direction. What do we mean by the positive direction? Well, we mean moving from left to right. And if we look at a number line, we can see why that is in fact called the positive direction. This is obviously just a section of number line here. And on the left hand side of zero, we have negative numbers, while on the right hand side of zero, we have increasing positive numbers. So that is why moving to the right is called the positive direction here. So let's look at an example calculating negative 5 plus 11. So we're starting at negative 5, adding a positive number 11. So we need to move 11 units, in this case, in the positive direction. And if we do that, you could verify, counting along here, that actually takes us to positive 6. So negative 5 plus 11 equals 6. And another way of looking at this is, in this case we happen to have a negative number plus our positive number. And one way you could think of it is imagine that you were $5 in debt and you then earned $11. That would then mean that you then had $6 left once you had paid off the debt. So that's another way of seeing how this would work in this case. What would happen though now, in a second case, if we subtract a positive number from another number? Subtraction will take us the required number of units from the first number in the negative direction, that is moving from right to left. So for an example, if we looked at 6 minus 13, then 6 is here, minus 13, so we need to count along 13 units in the negative direction. You might just want to pause and try that now. What happens when we move along 13 units in the negative direction? We end up at negative 7. So what is the interpretation of this? Well, we had a positive number in this case, 6, and we subtracted off a larger number from it. So because 13 is larger than 6 and we subtracted it, that's why we ended up in the negatives here. An example of this would be if you only had $6 but you wanted to buy something for $13, that would put you $7 in debt. So you'll notice in this case that having a small number subtracting off a larger number is taking us into the negatives. Whereas if we had instead done 13 minus 6 for instance, that would have just given us positive 7. And it follows from this that one method of calculating b minus c or minus b plus c, if b and c are both positive numbers, so that basically you have one of these effectively is positive and the other has a negative sign in front of it, one way of doing that is to find the size of the difference between the two positive numbers involved and then put in the sign of the bigger number. So that 6 minus 13 for instance, we could have just thought about the difference between 6 and 13 which is 7, but because the minus sign is in front of the 13 which is the bigger number, that means we end up with minus 7. Whereas if we had the first example, for instance, minus 5 plus 11, the difference between 5 and 11 is 6. In this case, the larger number is 11 and that has a positive sign, which is why we ended up with positive 6. Now it's also worth being aware of what happens if you get a slightly more complicated looking expression such as adding a negative number. 
So if we have an expression like this, negative 1 plus negative 6, what actually happens there? And this is actually the same as negative 1 minus 6. That is, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting a positive number. And therefore, we saw before that subtracting a positive number takes us the required distance from the first number in the negative direction. So that here we start at negative 1, subtracting 6 from that. That will take us another 6 units in the negative direction, which in this case gets us to negative 7. So it's a bit like the situation where if you're already owing someone a dollar and then you spent another six dollars you would now be seven dollars in debt for instance that is starting with the negative and subtracting a number from it is taking us further into the negatives now sometimes you might also have a case where you're given an expression like this two minus negative three so what happens when we subtract a negative number from another number? And subtracting a negative number is actually the same as adding a positive number. So that b minus negative c is always b plus c. And it then means we're actually moving the required distance from the first number in the positive direction. So 2 minus negative 3, for instance, is the same as 2 plus 3 and starting at 2, moving 3 units in the positive direction, that will just give us 5 in that case. So you'll notice that when we have a negative sign, it actually changes the sign and hence the direction we're moving in. So that whenever you are adding a negative, for instance, that gives you a negative, and if you are subtracting a negative, the two negatives make a positive. So that is also worth keeping in mind when performing some of these calculations.